guys, it's Amber. Welcome to my channel and to a haul. This is a library book haul. I figured I'd share it with you. These are books I got from the library that I'm putting on my to be read bookcase so that I can get to them when I have time to get to them. As if you've watched my other video, I do have a T TBR list of books, eight books that I'm going to read this month. But of course, there may be others that I decide to go ahead and read as well if something's not um, hitting me right or whatever. I try to read one book at a time, but I'm not afraid to not finish a book. Like if it's, if it's just bugging me, or I just don't like it, it's boring or whatever, I'll stop reading and move on um, to something else. So... Let's jump into it. Let's see what I grabbed from the library. I, first off, I got one called To Kill a Shadow, and this is by Katherine Quinn. It's shiny, of course, <laughs> where I'm sitting with the window. It makes it a little shiny. So this one is about a guy named Jude Maddox. I guess he's something called the Hand of Death. He's a knight that helps, um, like dole out death to people. So I don't know if he's like a grim reaper or something or uh, this world's version of that type of thing. Um, but he ends up, you know, there's always love interest. He ends up falling in love with someone, I think, or something like that. And um, yeah, so we'll see. We'll see what happens with that. To Kill a Shadow by Katherine Quinn. All right, next up is Hello Stranger by Catherine Center. And I love the bright, cheerful colors of this. This is really cute. So this is about a girl named Sadie who um, ends up getting diagnosed with something called face blindness. I know there's probably a medical technical term, but it's to where she can't recognize faces. And uh, there ends up being like a love triangle or something like that. So that seems like it'll be a fun one. I loved Catherine Center's The Bodyguard. And I did really enjoy um, her, what was it called? Happiness for Beginners that I just read last month. So I wanted to pick up another book by her. I've heard really good things about that one. Okay, next up, let's see what's next. I picked up Once Upon a Broken Heart. This is by Jennifer Garber, who is the author of the Caraval series, which I just finished last month. I read all three books because uh, I did really enjoy them. This is a continuation of that series, but I'm not sure how much in the future or what characters are still in it, but it takes place in the same world. And I've heard really good things. I've heard that it's an even better series than the Carval series. So I'm excited to pick this up and start reading it. Um, and if I do really love it, I have my eye on the UK versions of, of these books because they're way prettier than the American version of, of the book cover. Yeah, that, I'm not a big fan of that one. But the, the UK version is so, so pretty. I love it. Okay, so that's Once Upon a Broken Heart. Next is a novella. And this is called Mysteries of the Thorn of Thorn Manor by Margaret Rogerson. She, this is a novella, a continuation of her Sorcery of Thorns book which I really did love. And I didn't even know she had made a novella following that book um, until just a few weeks ago. I always felt like that book, even though it was a standalone, it felt like it needed to be a series. I loved, I loved the first book and I felt like it, she should continue it. So I was happy when I heard about her doing a novella um, with the characters. So yay. So that is Mysteries of Thorn Manor. Then we have Daughter of No World. And this is by, 
um, Carissa Broadbent. I have heard good things. I never read any book by her, but I've heard good things about her uh, books. And this is book one in the War of Lost Hearts uh, series. And it's about a girl named Tasana, who I guess starts out as a, um, as a slave. Yeah, as a slave. She ends up trying to flee and uh, doesn't escape, but she kills whoever she's escaping from, I guess. Um, this organization of evil magic wielders or something, I don't know. Uh, so I've heard good things. I don't know much about it, obviously, but I really like the cover of this. This also drew me in. So I'm excited to see where that one goes. So Daughter of No, no Worlds. And then the last one I got is brand new by Emily Henry, and it's called Funny Story. Her books are so fun. There are some that I like better than others. Uh, some of her books, I read, Beach Read was my favorite by her. And I also liked, what was one of the others? I'm trying to remember. Oh yeah, Book Lovers was probably my second favorite. People we meet on vacation, I wasn't a super fan of. I've come to find out that my preference in reading books is I don't like books that are constantly going back to past events. And that book was like every other chapter. It was like you were going back to the past. So that drove me crazy. I don't mind some uh, traveling back to to the past to find out what happened, but I don't like it constantly. So some of her books do that and some of them don't. Um, so I'm hopeful this one doesn't. I've heard it's a fun book. It's about a girl who's engaged to a guy and she thinks that they'll spend forever together and then he ends up realizing that he's in love with his best his childhood friend, Petra. And so she, so Daphne is the name of the main character, goes off to Michigan or something like that. Um, oh, strand, she's stranded in Michigan and she ends up finding a roommate and that roommate ends up being the ex of Petra. And they end up roommates together so you know it, I'm sure they're gonna fall in love it's romance obviously but I, I like the premise it sounds like it'll be fun so that is called funny story so that's it there's some more books to add to my TBR uh, bookshelf and um, I also picked up uh, while I was out at the library I also went book thrifting I don't know if if you saw my my short of that, I found Harry Potter in hardback form, Deathly Hollows for only 31 cents. I have the Harry Potter books in paperback, they're falling apart and I've been wanting to slowly uh, exchange them for hardcovers. And so when I saw that, and it only ended up being 31 cents and it was in perfect condition, it did not look like it even had been read. Uh, I was so happy. So yeah, anyway, I just had to share. Um, so I am grateful for you guys. Thank you for spending some time with me. And until next time, TTFN. Ta-ta for now. Mm -hmm.